Hi scientists, today we're going to run through the second moving man simulation activity which has to do with acceleration. So for experiment one, I'm going to start my position at negative 10. I leave my velocity at zero and I set my acceleration to one because that's what's um, my condition for experiment one. I'm going to hit play. I watch it move across slowly at first and then speeding up and I'm watching these sliders blue red and green so I can make observations in the questions on page one okay he hits the wall so I'll stop and then I'm gonna do playback and pause every second to record my data and I'm gonna do a little bit of rounding here to make the math easier that's fine you can just do one decimal point that's okay so I see that my position is minus 9.5. Again, I'm rounding. And I'll record my velocity. Um, looks like about 1.0 if I round. For my displacement, I'm going to do a calculation. So at this point, my velocity or my position is negative 9.5. I'm going to subtract my initial position, which is minus 10. And when I do that math, I come out with 0 0.5 meters. I'll fold that so it's more obvious. So how far I've traveled is 0.5 meters. Okay, I'm gonna play. At two seconds, I travel, my position is minus eight, and I'm recording my velocity, and it is two. I'm going to calculate my displacement, minus eight, minus, 10, which is 2, and I've traveled 2 meters. At 3 seconds, my position is minus 5.5, and my velocity is 3. I'll leave you to do the rest of the displacement calculations on your own. Four seconds, again, I'm going to do a little bit of rounding, minus 1.8, and four for my velocity. Five seconds, my position is 2.5, my veloc velocity is five. And at six seconds, my position is eight meters, and my velocity is six. And then he hits the wall before we reach seven seconds. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave the rest of my data blank. All right, we'll reset to do experiment two. Once again, my position will be minus 10. And this time I'm setting my acceleration to be two. I'll hit play. And watch him move. Then I'm going to do my playback. So now I'm um, writing in the experiment two column. Okay, so at one second, my position is minus nine and my velocity is two. And again, I'll leave you to do your own displacement calculations. At two seconds, my position is minus 5.8. And my velocity will round, it's about 4.1. At three seconds, my position is minus 1.2. My velocity is 5.9. At four seconds, my position is six. My velocity is eight. and then I hit the wall before I reach five seconds, so I will leave that alone. I'll leave the rest of my data table blank. I'll go ahead and do a third experiment. I'm just gonna keep going up, so three meters per second squared. 
Um, I'll reset this to minus 10. Of course, you are welcome to do your own experiment. That would be much more interesting. Um, but if you can't get the simulation to work, again, I will just do one for you. Okay, so we'll watch him walk across. Okay, and he hits the wall before we reach four seconds, so I know I'm only going to have three data points. We'll do our playback. All right, so one second, my position is minus 8.4, rounding, and my velocity is 3.1. Two seconds, my position is minus 3.7, and my velocity is 6.1. Three seconds, my position is 3.9, and my velocity is 9.1, and then I hit the wall before I reach the next um, whole second, so I stop my simulation there. Okay, I will leave you with this screen if you want to pause and screenshot and copy into your data table. Again, you'll need to calculate the rest of the displacements in order to do the math. Hope that helps and I will see you soon.